welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday here. Real quick, if you don't know what Topic Tuesday is, it's an Instagram that every single week posts a nail related topic that you can respond to either here on YouTube or over on Instagram. I will link their Instagram down below as well as my own so you can go check both of those out if you so wish. So today's topic is polishes that you can't get anymore. So I wasn't actually sure if I could really make this video because I didn't really think I had that many. And then I went through my list and I realized, oh, I kind of have a lot of polishes that were either limited edition, polish pickup, discontinued brands. They only came out in like a seasonal collection. And so I feel like I do have quite a few that I could talk about. And I was able to find five over here that I think are going to be interesting to discuss with you guys because I find that oftentimes when stuff gets discontinued or is limited edition, at least in like the makeup space of YouTube, the YouTubers just stop talking about it or they'll even just throw it away in a declutter and say, well, you can't get this anymore. So I don't want to show this on my channel anymore. And I just like, that's kind of wasteful A and B. It's like, I want to show these things off to you guys. And I also want to offer you an alternative to these polishes. So aside from trying to hunt these down in a D stash or on eBay or something for a really high price, because these probably for the most part, are gonna go for much higher than their original sales price. I, I wanted to find a way that maybe we could dupe these out or even if it's not a perfect dupe, just find a way to get something similar so that you can still enjoy the polish in your own way. And I wish that more makeup YouTubers did that because really like most eyeshadow palettes are the only thing that's super unique about them aside from like their formula itself is what colors they chose to put in there. So I could buy a couple singles or I probably have, I probably have, you know, enough colors in my eyeshadow collection that I could probably just put together like six different palettes and find a way to make that palette. So I just wish that maybe these things were discussed a little bit more. So that's why I'm gonna do it like this. So I have my five. I'm going to tell you about the polish and everything, where it came from. And then I'm gonna try to figure out a way that you can have this polish for yourself without physically owning that polish. I'm gonna scooch over so that I can have space for photos. So the first polish that I chose is probably the hardest to dupe out, and that is Everything Taco by Holo Taco. Now this polish just has a ton of different colored flakies. I think it's got like a scattered hollow in there. It's just got a lot going on, and it looks really cool. I've worn it, um, over a couple different colors, I think. When I wore it, uh, I was pretty impressed and I wanted to see if I could recreate it just by layering all of her uh, flakies. And no, you can't, that's just too much. It's, it's too chunky, you know? But I think that it would not be hard to recreate if you were into kind of a frankening a polish, uh, you know, mixing your own. So, let me show you. So here I have all six of the Holo Taco uh, flaky unicorn skin toppers. And then this is um, everything taco. Obviously you can't see it like this. So up close you can see the six original unicorn skins. They all each reflect kind of like one color. They got like a red one, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, I believe. And then with the individual uh, everything taco, you can see probably over my swatch photo, it's just got every color of the rainbow and it's got that like hollow reflective glitter and stuff like that. And so I don't have anything that I could call like a 100% dupe, but like I said, if you're into frankening and you do have several flakies lying around, I think that you could probably mix something up very similar, uh, get a spare bottle, just pour a little bit of each in, mix it up, maybe pour in a linear or a scattered hollow topper as well. Shake that up real good and you might be able to get something similar. I also know that she either is bringing this back or did just recently bring it back. So hopefully you guys got your hands on this if you were interested. But this is probably the only one out of the four that I couldn't like directly dupe out. But I feel like you can get like a vague approximation on your own. So another one in my collection is the often sought after China Glaze Zombie Zest. I really like this polish. I think it's cool. It's one of those really gross greens that you either love it or you hate it. It's not for everybody, but for the people that it's for, they want it really bad because this one is very hard to find. I found it on accident. I wasn't looking for it. I mean, I always wanted it, but it just kind of fell into my lap, so to speak. And I was like, all right, cool. I got it. Now I don't have to think about it ever again. 
And this is one that it's because it's an unusual finish. These are, I think, harder to dupe out. Duping out creams is so simple. Like it's, it's almost impossible to not be able to find a similar or exact matching cream somewhere else. But with these fun finishes, which is what I've chosen, these are a little bit harder to dupe out. However, lucky for us, Phoebe Moon of Moonshine Manny has a uh, line of polishes called Project Dupe It, where she dupes out in her own brand polishes that were very popular for their time and are still sought after today. And one of those polishes is called Roses Are Red, Zombies Are Green. And I will show you her swatch photo right here. But this is supposed to be a dupe for the um, Zombie Zest. And I don't own this polish. I don't own the Moonshine Manny polish. I would love to buy it and compare it just to see so I could give you guys like a full rundown. I just haven't done it yet and I'm not really actively buying things right now. Um, I'm not trying to, so I'm not going to buy it on a whim. Maybe if I want to place a Moonshine Manny order in the future, I'll throw it in the cart. But I will say, I think that just looking at it uh, in her photo, I think it looks pretty good. And if you are really looking for this polish, but you don't want to pay an insanely inflated price on the secondhand market, $12, pretty reasonable to me. Okay, the next is from a brand that is no longer with us. Rest in peace, Enchanted Polish. Uh, this one is the 90s. This is one that I really loved when I looked at their website over and over. And so when I found out they were going out of business, it was the first one in my cart. And I'm glad I got it because once they closed, I saw a lot of people reselling these for quite a lot of money. A lot of people who were like, ah, I wish I had gotten that one specifically. Everybody wanted the 90s. It's a white curly glitter with round neon glitters and then tiny round black and white glitters and it's really fun it's just a i feel like kids would really like this one but it just kind of reminds me of like a ball pit when i was a kid at mcdonald's and stuff like that it's just fun i love the the neons against like the black and white and of course i don't have an exact dupe of this however i do have a lot of similar solutions for you so first of all, I personally have never bought from Noodles nail polish. However, I do know, thanks to uh, Jody's Polish, they do a ton of Crelly glitters. And I did like a quick browse of their website before I made this video. They don't have anything that's, you know, quite as bright as this, but they do have a lot of Crelly glitters that have a lot of fun colors in them. And so I think that would be one option. And then I pulled from my own drawers because I do know that I was like, I've got some other Crelly glitters. The first one I have is called Sweet Tooth. This is by Studio M. This is the Meyer brand. And this one, the glitters are not nearly as like neon. They're a little bit duller. However, it's still one way you could go about it. This one's fairly old. I don't know if they still sell like this specific one, but like I said, like even this... These are like $2.99 at Meijer. You know, you can find stuff in the most unexpected places. The other one that I found was, I, I know that this one is also probably not easy to find, but it's called It's a Trapeze by China Glaze. This is another white Crelly with tons and tons of different colors of glitters. Also, I just remembered that popped a couple peelies. So yeah, don't judge me. Um, I got to redo my nails. But yeah, this is another one that's just got like a lot of fun colored glitters jam packed into a white crelly. And then if you really are hard pressed, you could always just paint a white base on your nail and then get a neon uh, topper. This one is from KB Shimmer. This one's called Upside Round. Throwing this over white, it's not going to look exactly the same, but you do have like a similar look. And so I feel like even though you can't have this particular one, you can still achieve a similar look and it's totally fine. The next one is from Polish Pickup. And if you don't know, Polish Pickup, you can only buy for like a four day window of the month. And once they're gone, once that month is over, you can't get that polish anymore. I think they have contracts or something like that, that they're not really allowed to sell them on their website. I think that maybe they can like do them in like mystery polishes and stuff like that, but you can't exclusively advertise like my polish pickup shade until maybe like years later. So I picked up this one from DRK Polish called, or sorry, DRK Nails. It's called Light Tricks. And this one, 
I'm gonna say this again, even though I said this like 900 times when I first talked about it, it looks like stained glass, like these huge, chunky, uh, flaky shards, these iridescent shards in this like purple jelly base. And this is one that of course is going to be so hard to dupe from a single polish. But I was thinking what you could do is make a jelly sandwich. Um, and what I mean by that, for those of you who maybe aren't aware of what a jelly sandwich is, um, you put a, a layer of a jelly polish, a layer of something else, something usually like a topper or textured or something like that. So in this case, you would want to take like a, a flaky topper, put a layer of that, and then layer another layer of the jelly polish over. And you can repeat that a couple times if you want, depending on how much depth you want, but it will give you that like layered look. And um, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to find the perfect purple jelly, but you could do it with any color really and still get a similar effect. And I think that that would be pretty fun. I feel like uh, jelly sandwiches used to be really popular. A lot of people used to also like do a layer of the jelly, do some stamping in like white or whatever, and then do another layer of the jelly. And that also looked really cool. So I never did it, but it looked cool. <laughs> But yeah, so that's one way I think that you could dupe something like this. And the cool thing about duping too, is if you really like the finish, but you're maybe not so into the color, you could dupe it out in a different color. Like you could find a green jelly or a red jelly and then put flakies in between and you'd have a similar effect just in a color you prefer. And then <laughs> last but not least, this is actually the most expensive nail polish in my collection. I I'm scared to pick it up. I'm always afraid to drop it. This was my birthday gift from my boyfriend this year. And this is the Chanel Holographic. Um, it comes in a duo. It comes with, or it came in a duo. And it came with this holographic polish and a fixing base. And the idea was you use that base and it was supposed to help this stick much better. And while I think that this is probably one of the greatest silver hollows I've ever seen, I will tell you every single time, if you ask me what's the best silver hollow in your collection, I will say it's the Chanel Holographic. I will also admit to being a little bit biased because there's something about like the bougie of it. The fact that it was a gift from my boyfriend, which he researched and um, he felt like it was really important for me to have in my collection. I definitely hold this one in a higher regard for personal and sentimental reasons. However, I wore it and I will pop up a picture and I do think that it is highly reflective, but I also think that your average person isn't going to be able to look at this and like maybe a hollow taco hollow and maybe a drugstore hollow. They're not going to be able to look at all three of them side by side and tell you there's a difference because at the end of the day, they're all just sparkly and silver, you know? And so I feel like this one you could dupe out very easily. Everybody's got, well, not everybody, but a lot of us have silver hollows in our collection. So I would say instead of spending a lot of dollars on a Chanel nail polish on eBay, um, shop your stash for this one. Don't, don't go to eBay for this one. It's, it will give you a heart attack if you do. So yeah, those were my five polishes in my collection that you cannot get on the primary market anymore. Um, and just five ideas to dupe them out. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. I kind of have fun doing the dupe section. I always think like, oh, this is going to be so hard. But then when it actually comes time to do it, I'm like, oh, what about this? What about that? Let me know if you guys enjoyed that. And then let me know down below, do you guys have any polishes that are like crowning jewels in your collection because you can't get them anymore? And then let me know how you would try to dupe that particular polish out. I would love to hear from you guys. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.